While it's a shame that we live in a world that needs weapons of war, military vehicles are nevertheless intriguing beasts that draw the attention of more petrol heads than you might think. Here are some of the best vehicles of the US military. M109A7 Mobile Howitzer The M109A7 is another case of getting it right the first time. With the Crusader failing to deliver, the military simply reevaluated the M109 Paladin. To make maintenance easier, they gutted the chassis and replaced it with the stalwart innards of the M2 Bradley fighting vehicle. The four man crew can sustain fire a 155mm round every minute, or if they're really going for it, auto loading system allows for up to four a minute. To stay safe, the A7 can stick and move, relocating quickly after firing to prevent retaliatory attacks. The newly configured vehicle is scheduled to come online this year. Striker Combat Vehicle The best kinds of military vehicles are the ones that can be adapted to whatever the needs that arise. The Striker does that in spades. It can be a recon truck, a troop transport, a weapons platform, essentially whatever you need it to be. In its potent troop transport configuration, it's able to move nine soldiers forward in tight and rough situations while providing cover for those troops. The Striker has even managed to withstand enemy tanks with its combined metal and ceramic armor and equipped anti-tank weaponry. It can be deployed out of C-130s, giving the military the ability to deploy and protect rapidly almost anywhere in the world. AAV-7 Amphibious Assault Vehicle Where the EFV failed, the AAV-7 succeeds. Unlike the EVF, it can be launched far out from the shore and once there, keep going for hundreds of miles dispensing the troops inside from ship to shore to inland in one smooth motion while keeping them protected. Both a 25 and 50 caliber machine gun protect the occupants along with a grenade launcher. They manage a speed on land of 45 miles per hour. Over decades of use, they had set a high bar to cover for their replacement, which is part of what made the EFV such a massive disappointment. Cougar 6X6 The Cougar 6X6 is hard to damage. It has a V-shaped underbody to disperse explosives underneath. It has inches thick plating to withstand grenade attacks from the side. It mounts grenade launchers and machine guns to ward off any attackers. If all of that isn't sufficient to convince people to leave it alone, it also holds 10 combat soldiers inside to drive the point home. Even if one does manage to cause this giant beast harm, repairs can be handled quickly and the cougar can be turned back around and put back to work in a matter of hours. In the occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan, the Cougar has rapidly become the backbone of troop and resource movements. This is the current MRAP, Mine Resistant Ambush Protected, vehicle of choice for the US military. M2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle The Bradley Fighting Vehicle is such a stalwart it has survived not one project meant to replace it, but two, and it's still waiting on the fate of yet a third attempt to take over its role. In the meantime, the BAE-made vehicle has managed to share components with other vehicles to help extend their life. The Bradley is another tool to carry, protect, and cover soldiers to the front line with the same speed and armored stance as the M1 tanks that it supports. The soldiers inside don't even have to exit the vehicle to start fighting. The tracked monster has mounted slots for M16s all along the side for them to fight behind the Bradley's considerable armor. That's in addition to the regular assortment of mounted weaponry. All of this combines in a vehicle that's hard to replace. M1 Shredder During World War II, lightning tank battles were one of the main features of the ground conflict and were key in deciding control of North Africa famously. It was clear that the tank was key to ground victories. In an age of asymmetrical warfare, one of the key strategies is to disrupt the mobility of the tank, to create barriers and force armored divisions to take different routes. The Shredder was built to give the military a way of saying, no, we'll be going through as intended. 
shelling out the M1 tank and putting a long plated push blade up front to knock away any barriers. The M1 is not defenseless. While it lacks the massive tank gun, it is mounted with machine guns and smoke grenades to cover it while it does its work. Flyer Advanced Light Strike Vehicle Not all cool military vehicles resist replacement. To be sure, the Desert Patrol vehicle was cool. It looked like something designed by a toy company rather than the military procurement process. In fact, it wasn't made by the typical weapons makers. The chassis was designed by Chenworth Racing and was a sand rail dune buggy with an air-cooled VW engine and mounted weapons. It was effective enough to be the first thing that carried SEALs into liberated Kuwait. The Advanced Light Strike Vehicle replaces that ride with an all-wheel drive chassis, still by Chenworth, light armor options, and four seats over three with even more mounting options. Power now comes from a Porsche to ride diesel engine. All this while still retaining its toy designer cool looks. High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle Not all acronyms are the same. Sometimes they create a cool sounding name and sometimes they create a mouthful. The predecessor to the HMMWV had an acronym that lent itself nicely to what became an iconic name. The general purpose or GP vehicle became known as the Jeep. Leaning on the multi-talented Eugene, the Jeep who would only say the word Jeep. HMMWV hasn't been so lucky. Whether you call it a Humvee or a Hummer, the name doesn't really convey how tough and reliable the truck is. Like the Jeep before it, the Humvee has become the symbol of military mobility. Also, like the Jeep, it has been a platform for whatever was needed from simple transport to anti-aircraft mounts. While more armored and durable vehicles are taking up the higher risk roles of the noble Humvee, it's still the backbone of a mobile military. M1A12 Abrams Battle Tank The M1 is the backbone of the armored divisions of the United States military. Most of the craft that went into development and failed had at least this one line item on the requirements. Keep up with the Abrams. The 1500 horsepower engine drives the massive tank to a top speed of 45 miles per hour, and its turbine engine runs on just about any liquid that can combust from diesel, jet fuel, even kerosene. The tank replaced the T-70 in the 70s. It hadn't seen battle until Desert Storm. Out of over 1,800 M1s sent to the desert, only 9 didn't come back and 7 of those were from friendly fire. The remaining 2 were scuttled after being damaged in battle. Ford Class Aircraft Carrier the Navy has been slowly upgrading and improving the iconic Nimitz-class supercarrier since its introduction in 1975. Systems have been upgraded and structures improved. Over time, however, this meant weighing down the already massive ship. In order to place the modern innovations on the craft and provide the extra power that was needed, a new supercarrier had to be made. The Ford class has a better nuclear power engine at its core and enough automated systems and revised designs that it's able to carry roughly the same complement of armament with less crew. Just about all of the modern craft in use can launch from the ship around 120 a day under normal circumstances to 240 for surge purposes. Aircraft carriers have been the chief way to project power across the globe and the Ford class is the most advanced way to do that.